Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Beyonce look from Telephone. Loads of you on Twitter have been asking for the one with the yellow liner, so I hope I've done you proud. Just quickly, I've done one eye already, and I have put a bit of bronzer on just to darken the shades out a little bit, because I want it to look as close as possible, and especially around the eye, so let's go. I've been using some shade and stuff. First of all, I've got nothing on my eye because we don't really need it. It's not a um, metallic eyeshadow look. I'm just getting my brush. So first of all, I'm going to be doing this with the brown. And I'm going to mix between the two. I'm going to go in with the chocolate brown and that brown. And I, these are both from MAC, but I can't remember the colours. I'll have a look for you and show you. But I'm, first of all, I'm just going to apply that just in the inner corner like that. Of the out socket. Just to darken it out a little. Now I'm going to have to zoom you in, and I haven't got my me, me little remote, but I'm going to quickly go for it. Zoom you in as much as I can. Okay, without it crashing and going blurry. So again, I'm just mixing between the two, and I'm just popping it in the inner corner of the eye socket, like that. Just to really darken it out. And then I'm just going to bring it down here a little bit. Not too much, just to give that darkened appearance in the inner corner, like shaded effect. Right, I hope you're all keeping it so well. I always like to ask on Twitter, but I know a lot of you don't go on there, so I'll ask you here as well. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm using a matte yellow, and these are just a really chunky matte yellow, and I'm going to put that all over the eyelid. I'm just going to do that kind of motion, pat it on, and bring it out. Fluff on my brush, I don't know how that happened. But again, go right into the inner corner. You don't want to cover the whole eyelid. You just want to go a little way up and leave a little gap between your crease. Bring it right out because we're going to mix. We're going to blend it right on the outer corner as well. And then what we'll do is we'll put eyeliner across the top of it to get that yellow black look. I really love it at the moment. Oh, and don't laugh at the hair. Look what I've done. I had to spray it so much. I've got my fringe and I've twirled it, or my bangs, and I've twirled it and stuck bobby pins in just to get it up, to give it that, like, blunt fringe look. But I don't know. I haven't done a very good job. But, you know, it's all for a good cause. So there you go. I'm just putting that on. I'm bringing it right out. Look. So there you've got your yellow. Basically, let's go straight in. I'm going to just blend this out a little bit at the top here. Get rid of that a bit. Just want to blend it so it's just like kind of highlighted and shaded. But it's not so much a worry. Now I'm using this and it's by YSL Leaves on Laurent. And it's a black liner. And I'm just going to go from the inner corner. Now I have, can't put my finger on my cheek for this one because this is too long. I don't like that idea about it but never mind. Start on the inner corner. Now I'm keeping it as close to the lash line as possible because you don't want any gaps and then when I get to the outer corner I'm just going to gently bring it across. And then you can fill it in. This would be far better off Especially if you're not used to using liquid liners or brushes and you want to really get a good line without making mistakes straight away. Better off if you use an angled eyeliner brush, that's got stuff on it, with the um, liquid liner or no gel liner, gel fluid liner, what have you. So there you go, you've got your black on. I'm just going to go right into the inner corner here. And then I'm going to go back over and I want to bring this out a little bit thicker. And 
Now once I've done that, I'm going to go on the lower lash line. I've noticed, I don't know if I'm right, but I think I can see a bit of gold. And I'm using Woodwinked by MAC on my liner brush. That. And we're just going to pull that along the lower lash line. I'm using a damp so it stays put a bit more. Just putting that underneath, just gently highlight the lower lash line like this. I think it's what just got on. Then once I've done that, I'm going to take a white eyeliner, and this is by Urban Decay called Yeo. And I'm just going to gently pop a little bit of it onto my waterline. Now it doesn't easily go on here, so you might have to give it a bit of gentle persuasion. But what I want to do is I want to highlight and make it look, the bottoms are like blinging a little bit. Now let's get the mascara on. I found a new one in my box, Dior Show Blackout. And it's got a kind of angled brush on it. I'm going to just tip my head back and I'm going to really give the lashes a good coating with it. And what I did on the other side was pay extra attention to the outer parts this time. Because I never do. I always leave these bits just spare when I shouldn't do. So I'm really pulling them out. Get right in there with a the brush and lift it right up. And I've gone at an angle and all. I haven't gone straight up. I wanted to keep it out a little bit. So there you go. There's your eyes. Now for the brows, I've never used... I hope I can find it quickly because this is terrible. I know I'm going to run out of time, so I'm just grabbing everything in my hand here and hoping that I pick it up quick. Where have I put it? It's so thin. It's by MAC. And I've just been starting to use this because I've lost my Paula Dorf brow stuff. So this is stud. And I'm just going to paint in the brows and give it more of like a triangular shape. Like an arch. She's got very powerful brows. I'm actually not as dark as what I'm doing. This is too dark for her look. But I don't have anything in between colour wise for the brows. So I'm just kind of squarely painting them at, for, at first. In, the, in a corner. And I'm going underneath. Giving them a bit of shape as well. Then when I get to the arch part, I'm going to just gently pull that out. But I'm not paying much attention to the outer parts. I just want the colour to be in the impact on the inner part. Let's get that blended coloured in a bit there. They don't match exactly, but it's really hard to get them to match anyway. So don't beat yourself up about it. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this on. She doesn't really have much colour, but what I've got is I want to get the outer part of it. Tap it off, and I'm just going to gently push that in the corner on that line there. And then for the lips, I've got... This lipstick here is by L'Oreal, and it's Sweet Lychee. And I thought it would be kind of cool, so. So we've got a dark undertone. And then on top of that, I'm using this by L'Oreal. This one is blush. Glam Shine Blush. See? It just gives a bit of sparkle. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed my Beyonce in the telephone makeup inspired tutorial. I'm going to be doing a couple more from the video because a lot of you have been asking for the, the American stripes and star thing. That's a stick on so I'm going to have to find something to stick on my face for that one. And a couple of others. I'm going to really get some screenshots of this though because I don't want to get it wrong. I really hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned. Send your requests in. I read all the comments. Keep it coming. And thanks very much for watching. And stay until the end. Zoom, zoom.